people are always lamenting the fact that classical music is a dying art form or something like that. You know, they clap between movements and all that, but who cares because they're having a wonderful time. It's only Quavers, Minims, Crotchets. If Charlie Watts, Mick Jagger and Keith Richards can do it, why can't you? Tails, tuxedos, no. It's, it's the 21st century, please. T-shirts. Music today is fast and exciting. A lot of my generation listens to Beyonce rather than Shostakovich. Wouldn't be the person I am today. Oh, I'd probably be the same. I'd probably be a lot better off financially, I might add. <laughs> In terms of classical music, I think there's something about its contemplative nature that perhaps a lot of young people aren't necessarily ready for. I quite often get letters from people who say, you know, thanks a lot, Emma, you made me cry this morning. That's really nice of you. And now I've got to go to work and my mascara is running. Chamber music and orchestral music gives me goosebumps. Basically every time I listen to it and I wouldn't give that up for the world. <laughs> it's orgasmic. To put it in a really sort of dumb, simple way, the the music is just so pretty. People go, Spedanellum, I love it. And I'd go, mm-hmm, nope, I find it really boring. It's the most awful quartet to listen to, but it's also one of the best. Well, okay, there's that, and there's Beethoven, Hocus mm -hmm. Five. There isn't that room to hide. There's, there's, there's just the four of you. When one of you makes a mistake, it stands out like dog's balls. <laughs> Calm your farm. My lack of snow, but I'm not too sure what they call I'm absolutely prepared to be contradicted. Words escape me. <laughs> what a technique! What is she doing? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of why I like chamber music.